let's start with the frequently asked questions about the Micromax Canvas Nitro A310. The first question is, does it allow moving apps to SD card? Well, in the app section, I do not see any option which says move apps to SD card. I have tried and I could not see any options which is provided here. There's no option to move the apps which are pre-installed. But in case you go to storage settings, you can see that there is a clear option which says default write disk. You can set it to phone storage or SD card. I believe that by setting it to SD card, it will start saving more apps and installing stuff on the SD card and keeping your multimedia and everything that you store on the phone by default on the SD card only. Second question is how much user available storage is available. This phone has 8 GB internal memory out of which around 5.5 GB is available. Let me quickly show you in the storage settings. So 5.68 to be precise, but there are some pre-installed applications as well. So you will see around 5.5 GB user available. You can also add a micro SD card to expand the storage. So you do not really need to worry about the storage too much. Question number three is whether it heats up during gaming or not. I have tested games like the Asphalt 8 and the Frontline Commando. While playing heavy games, running benchmark tests, I noticed that there was some heat near the camera module. Maybe the processor is placed somewhere below this region in the phone, but it does not get too hot. It gets slightly warm and it is under acceptable limit. You can still hold the phone when it is warm, so it is not very uncomfortable. Next question is how good is the battery life? It gets a 2500 milliamp battery and with an octa-core processor 5 inch display, I believe it should last for one full day. We have just started using this phone. I'll use it for some more days and will tell you the precise battery life review. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to our channel for our follow up videos. Next question is how good is the call quality on the Micromax Canvas Nitro 8? I have tested and I have found that the call is clear on both ends. The audio received on this phone is clear and loud and the audio received on the other end is also fairly clear and loud. This uses dual microphone so one is at the back and one is at the bottom and uses noise cancellation software which ensures that the other party listens to your voice clearly. The earpiece is also good enough so you hear the other party very well when you are in a voice call. The 3G reception has not been an issue as you can see the 3G network is full strength right now. Next question is can I make a Wi-Fi hotspot using this phone? Answer is yes you can make a Wi-Fi hotspot. Just go to settings under network settings go to more settings and here you have options for teeth ring and Wi-Fi hotspot. You can just enable it here and make a Wi-Fi hotspot from your phone. Next question was whether this phone Micromax Canvas Nitro have a wireless display. The answer is yes, it has a wireless display. You see the cast screen option here. You can add nearby wireless displays like the Miracast and other standard DLNA displays and you can cast your screen. Next question was does it have Gorilla Glass or no? The answer is no, it does not have Gorilla Glass but with my experience with this phone, it looks like it has some sort of toughened glass at the front because it seems scratch resistant. It may not be the Corning Gorilla Glass. I can rub a metallic object here and it does not get any sort of scratches. Maybe it's the Dragon Tail Glass or some other glass from Asahi or some other brand. But it does fairly live up to the scratches and does not get scratched easily. Next question we have is is the Micromax Canvas Nitro water resistant? The answer is no, it is not water resistant. And last question but very important question is that does it support USB OTG drives? And the answer disappointingly is that it does not. We have tested connecting two or three different USB OTG drives but it does not detect any of them. So there is no USB OTG support inbuilt onto this phone. This brings us to the end of the frequently asked question series part 1. We'll come back with more frequently asked question videos. So make sure you leave your queries, doubts and questions in the comment section below this video and we'll come up with the follow up videos. If you want to purchase this phone, I'm leaving some direct links in the description section below as well as on your screen. So you can check the best deals at the links provided on your screen as well as in the description. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you press the thumbs up button and share it with your friends so that they can also see this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for our future videos. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.